yo, yo, what's good? We are here at Equinox and we're about to, about to train, man. About to hit legs. And um, we're going to try something, something fun. Something I used to do back in the day, actually. I used to do drop sets a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean, I did a whole routine of every muscle group I was doing was drop sets. So I should be used to it, but it's been a while, you know? So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not at the same yeah. time, no, you know? We, we used to do drop sets too. That was like the rule of law, yeah. But I haven't been doing drop sets. Like no, me neither. Me yeah, yeah. This will be fun. What y'all gonna see is you're gonna be able to, look, I'm not a big fan. Now there's certain times that I wanna spend two hours lifting weights, that, that happens sometimes. But I'm not a fan of that on a regular. So, so when you get to something like this, you get to the money immediately. Mm. You're taxed. Mm. You get the fuck out of there, mm. and get on the rest of your day. Mm. When people have to have to spend, like if I'm spending more than an hour in the gym, it's because I want to. Mm. But when people are trying to get to it, mm. the way you train properly, you shouldn't have that much in you to go two hours. Nah. You're doing something wrong. You, you take too many breaks, whatever. I don't know, maybe ineffective exercises. Squats is the holy grail for your legs. Which I, some of y'all don't know, squats works your entire body. Yep. Your stabilizers, your traps, uh, the rhomboids, your your core, right? It's working pretty much everything. That's why squats is so much more difficult than like leg press or machines. You might, you might, I'm sure y'all y'all can attest to this. You might get better developed legs if you only did machines and not squats versus only squats and not machines. But that's not. We're not worried about that. Mm. The look is gonna come. We're worried about functionality mm. and being strong mm. everywhere. And with a total body muscle builder like a squat, you're incinerating fat and calories throughout your whole body. Oh yeah, you're torching it. There's, there's not many exercises that are as taxing as the squat. You know, I mean, like you gotta give everything just to come back up. <laughs> and if you don't come back up, you know, what's happening? You you're know? even strengthening so, your soul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of willpower. There's yeah. a lot. Although, although today, you know, with, with the drop sets, I mean, if I burn out, now, luckily, we've got this soft floor, so I'm just gonna back it off and let it drop, you know. But um, that's the fun thing about squats, you know. Right. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Little secret stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna give you a discount code, but you have to stay tuned to the end. I got my new squat shoes. Shan hooked me up. Shout out to Shan for the Christmas present. They're clean. I used them the other day, and uh, in comparison to the, the twos, I would say that they're lighter. They're lighter and more comfortable. That could just be the insole, but who knows, man. All I know is that they, they feel a lot softer on the feet and um, lighter, which is good. Because the other ones, you know, when I'm walking in them, like I know I've got squat shoes on and they're heavy, you know, but these, these feel light and good, man, so. Ah, drop sets, damn. I always shout for these things, but then when it comes time to do it, I'm like, ah, oh, why did I say that, man? <laughs> I remember we had this conversation. You yeah. strip the weight down mm. and just start perfecting this form. Yeah. That's what I gotta do. If your form is fucked up, humble yourself, go to the drawing board, and learn to do it properly. It's funny, I, I, I had a comment the other day when I posted a squat video on Instagram, and the guy's like, Yeah, but he only does like four or five plates. If I'd been training like 18 years like him, I'll be doing the six, seven. And what you don't realize is, for me, like I did the six back in the day. And I was going hell for leather. There was no control. It was a mess. I got the weight. Like there, there's a video of me doing 275 kilos, and I got that weight because I hit three times, three reps. But I, I, that, that, what feels better? I would prefer to do a four plate, controlled, feel the rep, get the depth on it for me personally, and uh, and put it back, then go hell for leather, smashing some ridiculous weight, and it just doesn't feel right, you know. So right now, I love getting under a bar with a decent weight and and, and doing quality reps, you know. So. That's how, that's how I squat now. You know what else bothers me as well is when people start seeing, they see that I switched up my form, they see that I'm doing depth, and then they try and say that, oh, like say, oh, that's bad on your knees and blah, blah, blah. Well, they don't realize, look, man, I'm not telling anyone to squat how I squat, but how I squat, I love it now. You know, and, and, I, feel, and I feel completely, I, I feel more comfortable squatting to the depth that I do now than how I used to doing like just below parallel. Like, and you lot talking about st um, stress on the knees, I used to get more pain on my knees doing parallel than me going deep. I don't feel nothing on my knees now. Yeah. These people are saying that, Yeah. and they 
they don't, they don't really give a fuck. Oh, no, 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 not at all. It's just they need something to be negative. Yeah. Yeah. And they got spaghetti legs. You know what I'm saying? You know, they just look for something. Like a follow-up to competition for me. And you have to be at least parallel. At least. At least parallel. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't qualify. Really yeah. So this is not a squat. This is, you can load up a shit ton of weight. Whew. Whew. <laughs> because this is the strongest part of anybody's squat. Our weakest point is below parallel, right? So this is where we're all weak at. Mm. If we know that, that's where we should spend a lot of time to get strong now. Okay? You know what it is too? Some people got tight hips. They need to loosen. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing that I've, I've done that helps with my deep squat is uh, my hamstrings. I go ham on hamstrings. Like I have a whole day for hamstrings. When you go like to that depth, your hamstrings comes into play like a lot. So if you've got strong hamstrings, it will help, you know? like a squat until you're on free plate that's when you start that's when there's a real resistance for me and that's when I'm actually working and actually powering up all the other ones yeah like, like I said it's a warm-up even that's a warm-up for what we're about to do but until I've got free plates on it I don't feel like I'm actually going for it and giving like using much effort you know that's it so that just opened me up now like that opened up my hips you know and and, and now I feel like ready to put some actual weight on you know and that's a gift and a curse because <laughs> Two plates is formidable for some people. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, and this is something that I've been dealing with forever. The stronger you get mm. over the years, it takes a lot more for you to get. Yeah, to yeah. You can get warmed up. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. Like yeah. for me, that, when I was down there, that, that was like when I'm really getting my hips ready for, for the squats now. So, yeah. Leave it there. Yeah, the nice. burns a lot. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, the burn. I got to see. I got to see. I got to 
not even a strength thing. That burn is horrid. Like, ah, oh, damn. Ah. Oh. I tried to hold it in and didn't react until that last set. But nah, I was trying to firm it. I was trying to go all the way, but that's horrendous. That's flipping horrendous. Ah, oh. oh. hey, give me a sec, man. Ah, oh. horrible, horrible. I've never felt anything like that, man. I have, but when I was doing drop sets before, the reps were different. It was probably sixes, six, then six, then six. Today it was the five on four, 10 on three, and it should have been a 10 on two, but I just couldn't make it. I couldn't make it. It's flipping horrible. I'm just hoping this is painful for them and I'm not making a whole lot of noise for nothing. <laughs> Woo! But I'll tell you this though, I didn't feel nothing on my lower back, nothing on my knees. It was more my glutes and my hams that was dying from that. That's probably because of the depth that I go to. But yeah, it's more, and even my quads weren't even hurting on that. It was just my hamstrings and my glutes, you know? Just, damn. You see, from what I know, training with Mike, his endurance, is, he's got a strength, that's a given, but he's got endurance as well. So I'm thinking that this is gonna go quite well. Let's see, man. But yeah, his endurance, obviously doing the boxing and the cardio that comes with that means you freaking have to have a strong heart and strong lungs, etc. So I'm thinking that he'll be all right on this, but we'll see. It's how you cope with lactic acid buildup, man. You can have all the strength in the world. If you can't deal with that pain, he's gonna stop you. And it's gonna punch you in the stomach, man. Lower no back. Oh, your knee? Oh, snaps. Too tight. Yeah, Bob's trying to cut off my circulation, man. <laughs> The same ref as me. I thought Mark was going to take it to the, the 10s and 12s, man. <laughs> How'd that feel? <laughs> so, 
amazing. <laughs> Look, y'all. That this whole workout probably took us 15 minutes. Cardio, building muscle in your legs. What can you ask for? What makes a superset so hard or like like why do you All think right. it's like it's like the greatest equalizer? The superset is a great equalizer because especially with something like squats, because once you start getting over 300 pounds, you start tapping into it ain't just muscular strength, your central nervous system has to kick in. Okay? That's where that real power comes from. And we're taxing it. And now you're doing a superset. You're not giving yourself time to recover. I mean, we all squat hundreds of pounds more than 400 pounds. However, in this capacity, at this pace, it makes it so fucking taxing. So we're forcing our body, our muscles, to work in a state of fatigue. And it's, it's very difficult, that's all I can say. But that makes you that much stronger. It builds that muscle endurance. It builds that cardiovascular endurance as well. Healthy lungs, healthy uh, heart. That shit's important, y'all. So, I'm glad you came up with this shit. Going back to what Mike was saying before we even started about how squats is also, what would you say, it's like, um, you said mentally it's, it strengthens you as well. Now, when I was doing that, um, I banged through the 10, as you guys watch on the video, I was repping it up, down, up, down. I could have slowed it down, but in my head, I'm thinking, nah, let's, let's go for this. Although that made it a lot harder burning at such a speed. Well, and then, the thing up, Sam. yeah. The speed made it yeah. harder. Yeah. But if you were to slow down, you yeah. made it harder too, because you're still holding that weight. It makes it true. It stretches the but then I'd have been, been able to, I'd have been able to breathe, get those deep breaths before going each rep. Like on the last one, that's why I freaking, as soon as I come off, I was just over. Cause I was just like, no, nah, I'm just going to rep. I'm going to rep. And then when I got to the seven, that's when I was going to take the breather. I took the breather and I was like, nah, I'm, like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I've got to put it back. How'd you pick this weight for you? Like if you were recommending this to someone okay, else. Okay. Okay. So if, if, it's, yeah, yeah. If someone wants to replicate what we're doing here, I would say this, four plates on a normal day, I'm doing eight to 10 reps on it. So maybe choose a weight that you max out on like eight or 10 as your start for the, for the drop set and hit it, hit it for five, you know? So um, yeah, like on four plates, I can normally get eight, eight or 10. So that was why I chose that weight as opposed to going even heavier and you know, like that. And, and, and it's a comfortable weight for all of us. We know we can get a clean five, which is why we chose that, you know? So, yeah, it's still. It's still difficult. Mm. Five reps or four or five is still difficult. Yeah, right? like we were, we were, we were zoned in for the reps. It weren't just the like the certain weight you get under and you don't think about. You think about four plates. You gotta get it right. Let's do it. Come on, get your foot in, get your foot in, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Just one rep. Nice clean rep and then we'll switch. Make sure your feet, make sure your feet's right. One rep and then we'll strip it and you go straight in. Make sure your feet's right, man. Don't squat until your feet's right. Let's go, Rob. There we go. Right, 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 right. You gotta know when to stop. 
he might be feeling something. Or 20 or something. What are you feeling? And he might want to do it because we here. But don't do that shit. Show me feeling right. Stop. All right, a couple of knees and then just throw it off, man. Go take a nap. <laughs> My shoe went up from the wraps. Can I help me up? How it would feel, but yeah, Everything yeah. Else I have, it makes yeah, yeah. I didn't know how it would feel, but you know, like I, I, I feel much better doing a one rep than still doing reps after all that shit. Yeah, you know, if I know I have to come up once, <laughs> I, I could go for that. Every, almost every session, no matter what I do, like with my squats and with certain other exercises, there's certain weights that I need to have in the bank every session so that I, I never lose them. Uh, this is one of them. I don't hit five plates every session. Um, not sure I can hit five plates every leg session, but most of the time when I go for it, I get it. But this is a weight that I have to get weekly, week, in, week, week in, week out without fail. So that's why I even touched it today. So even if we don't do any more, I, I always have to just, yeah, let me just fold this in. Let me just get that and always know that I've got it. You know, it's the same with, like, say for example, deadlifts. I have to hit a six plate. I'm not leaving deadlifts and the six plate didn't go up because that's my staple now. That's my, 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 my set weight that has to be achieved every session. And, and that's, you know, with, um, with every muscle group, there's certain weights that you have to be able, personally, this is my own thing, that I have to be able to hit, that I can never lose, you know? So, uh, yeah. Is that, that mental, or do you think that's actually? It's mental, of, it's mental, it's you're mental. Not yeah, it's not, I'm not losing, losing the strength. You can't, can't lose strength just like that. But it's a mental thing to say, you know, just to keep me, I don't know, keep me saying that, yeah, I'm, I'm still where I'm supposed to be. Cause I don't, I just don't want to lose certain, certain strength you know on certain things you know like a like for example four plates on a bench press like there, there's been a time when I've lost that and it's pissed me off because it's like that should be a staple I've got it back now so every week I'm able to hit four plates for at least one on a bench but yeah there's certain things that I, I need to maintain you know and everyone should have that you know so that you know that you're not doing yourself a disservice when you're training you know so you, that you're, you're keeping up with what you know you can do Okay, for those of you who watched this video to the end, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe. The discount code for you guys is ATG. ATG is going to get you 20% off my website. Well, it's going it's to expire soon, so make sure you use it now. ATG.